What up, New Gaming Order? This is Alex Lex just coming at you like the Juggernaut Bitch for December 2015 Lunchtime TV episode. So welcome to my office. Anyway, um, just breaking news. According to Games Radar, Polygon, Kotaku, I guess it's like wildfire right now, but I wanted to be the first to take the crack at it and uh, deliver the news via the New Gaming Order website. But... Kojima has officially left. Now, I know many of you who've been watching our show know that we've been beating this dead horse for a minute, but now things are official, and uh, Konami and Kojima have parted ways. Now, here's another thing, and this is probably the last time I'm going to revisit this topic in depth, but I will say this. Kojima now is free to do whatever he wants, and Nelson and our staff have called it. We said, okay, whatever it is with the higher ups and the restructuring with Konami, they're just like, look, stop trying to cover up the truth. You you guys mistreated the man. This There's like, oh, well, they're on good terms, and look what happened at the Video Game Awards. It's about time that the truth comes out. And if Kojima did a tell-all interview, or whatnot, that'd be off the chain, man. Expose Konami for the piece of shits that they are. And with that being said, uh, Kojima is looking to go into developing his own studio with some former members of Kojima or Fox, uh, the, you know, who he's been working with for so long. So to keep his brethren together is awesome. Um, there's also rumors that, according to Neil Gaff, for that, um, he's in talks or negotiations with Sony. Um, a lot, it's just hearsay for the time being, where according to the article I read, I'll leave the link to the description below, where he, if Sony picks him up, he'll be exclusively making titles for Sony, which uh, will be interesting. But there won't be any Metal Gear or Zona Vanders, things like that. I mean, unless Konami... It, it, you know, gets rid of those IPs or sells them off to him. But considering how bad, badly things ended, I think just to spite him, they'll kill off his his IPs. Um, it's just unfortunate. Capcom's not free of this. Look what they did with Unifune and Mega Man. You know, they wouldn't let this man take his stuff. But it is what it is. And Shinwa sending me a message. But um, with that being said, it's official. The uh, no compete clause is over and it came at a good time because that's a big fuck you to Konami for what they did to him at the video game awards and shout outs to Kiefer Sutherland who gave this man the proper respect when accepting the award on his behalf you know what fuck you Konami Kojima fly free wherever you may land you know I hope that you make console games for everybody to enjoy but if that's not the case I'm glad that you are now unbonded. You're not bound by the chains and, and, and bars that Konami put you in for the last 30 years. So uh, I hope one day the truth comes out. And if he does like an in-depth interview, that'd be interesting. But not, we know Konami will probably have their lawyers all over him. But he is no longer an employee, even though Konami is trying to damage control it. But you can't control that man anymore. You know Fuck you, Konami. Bravo, Kojima. See you guys in the next Lunchtime TV. And Lyoko Lion, shout out to him. He'll be doing a podcast um, recapping what happened with Roman Reigns winning the U.S. Well, U.S. Oh, my gosh. I'm mixing up my titles. But winning the World Heavyweight Championship last night on Raw with Vince McMahon popping up. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what the ratings look like. But this has been Alex Exus. I'm out like the juggernaut bitch. Peace.